Its name is Latin for stars, yet the Opel Astra is merely a popular compact family car in Europe. Classified as a C-segment vehicle and on sale since 1991, Astra F, the nameplate is now at its fourth generation, Astra J, but a new gen model, the K, is slated to enter production later in 2015. Introduced in 2009 at the Frankfurt Motor Show and with similar styling to the Insignia, the Opel slash Vauxhall Astra J is underpinned by GM's Delta II platform, which is good for front-wheel drive and a selection of four-cylinder engines, ranging from 1.4 liters to 2 liters displacement and two turbos for the 192 horsepower 2.0 CDTI by turbo diesel power plant. When all is said and done, the J is getting quite gray-haired now, which is why GM Europe is hurrying the research and development of the all-new 2015 Opel Astra K. According to an official statement from the manufacturer, all production duties will be handled by Vauxhall's UK-based Ellesmere Port Factory, starting from late 2015. Body styles will number 3-door, GTC, and 5-door hatchback, sedan, spypix, and wagon, sport tourer. Compared to the all-new Corsa E, the Astra K won't be just a revamped 10, year, old platform, but an all-new machine from head to toe. Alas, the 2015 Opel Astra K will be underpinned by the same D2XX platform that debuted on the 2016 Chevrolet Volt, which debuted last week in Detroit. It's not known at the moment whether D2XX is able to handle an all-wheel drive layout, but we do know that the D2XX is an unibody welded steel body. As you can see from the attached spy photo gallery below, the apparently bigger Astra K will adopt reverse boomerang-shaped tail lamps, a more dynamically styled front fascia and pretty much the same overall looks as the J. Don't pay attention to the front slash rear bumpers or the headlights because they're either camo D or fakes. The only other notable design detail that's worth mentioning is that the hatch and its glass are more steeply raked than the tailgate of the outgoing Astra. As for powertrain options, don't get excited for anything else than the usual four-pot suspects, with the addition of the all-new 1.0 Ecotec Turbo 3-cylinder mill, which produces a meaty 115 horsepower. With the 2015 Ford Focus 1-liter EcoBoost around, the 2015 Opel Astra K will certainly go 3-pot 2.